Hey guys, how's it going? Chess back again with episode number one of the AC Milan career mode here on Xbox One. Now, the scenario around why or around which we are starting a brand new career mode series is explained in a vlog I put up on the channel yesterday, and you'll see the reasons why at the end of yesterday's My Player episode as well. Basically, I accidentally overwrote the uh, the save file for the Atletico Madrid video. I am um, I can only apologise like I did yesterday in the vlog. So we're starting a brand new career mode series today as AC Milan. They were the team that came second in the vote that we did when they're looking to start a new series after the Chelsea one. So we're going to jump in with AC Milan, starting with, again, the extra bonus of the added uh, very, very good, very, very talented scout. And I also went for the 30% transfer bonus as well, because as you saw as we were setting up there, they only have a base transfer budget of 14.5 million. And uh, of course, as you... Uh, probably well aware AC Milan is struggling in real life this year and uh, hopefully Clarence Sadoff can pull them out of a bit of trouble but we uh, we don't have the strongest of squads and it does need a lot of changes and a lot of rotation and a lot of new people coming in we need some new blood into the team so fingers crossed I can avoid overwriting this save file I'm uh, definitely going to do my utmost to make sure that this career career mode series goes the length and uh, you, as you can see we're having a quick look now on screen to see what our objectives are for the rest of the season now in the domestic cup i think it's is the the coppa italia i uh, i believe it's called i may be wrong there if i am wrong feel free to correct me in the comments but they don't necessarily want us to win the cup it's only get to the round of 16 so hopefully we can uh, we can achieve that in the transfer market we're going to have to be very astute indeed we've not got much money to spend but we do need to bring a lot of players in and in the cup in the league rather they want us to achieve a position that will help us qualify for the champions cup now i believe in italy that's in the top three i may be wrong that may be top for you again will have to correct me in the comments if I'm wrong is this is new for me I've uh, of course we did Chelsea in the Premier League very very uh, knowledgeable about the Premier League and Chelsea itself uh, Atletico Madrid was a team that I personally enjoy and a, a league that I enjoy but I'm not too knowledgeable at all when it comes to Serie A so it's going to be a, a, a journey an explorative a, an explorative journey for me as a commentator and as a content producer as well as for you guys watching it at, uh, at home and on your screens as well so hopefully th this can be uh, you know, a very, very enjoyable and a very enlightening uh, career mode series for, for all of us. As you can see, this is the starting 11 we have so far. Not the strongest, but not the weakest. But uh, the first 11 really is kind of all we have when it comes to uh, rotation players. Of course, you've got players like Polly, which is an up-and-coming centre mid that I'm really hoping to uh, to get some first-team action. You've got Rubinho, you've got on loan, Adel Tarapt as well. When it comes to uh, to other rotation players, you've got De Chilio in there, obviously a player we signed at, uh, at Chelsea in the uh, career mode series we did with them and uh, Erby Emanuelson for rotation there are a couple of other centre mids for a rotation as well but this is what the transfer situation looks at at present we've got a lot of players loaned out now there are a couple of players in there I could bring back such as Niang and Nocherino Matri I'm not too fussed about although we do need a striker because as you'll be able to see in just a second Gianpaolo Pazzini is transfer listed three players loaned in Silvestre, Rami and Adel Tarapt so uh, hopefully they we may be looking to uh, to make one of those if not two of those permanent We'll have to wait and see how they do for us throughout the season. But as you can see, Pan uh, Pazzini, Bonera and Emilia are all transfer listed. Players that I believe to be a surplus to requirements. And uh, we'll have a quick fiddle with the budget here to make sure that uh, we know exactly what we've got to spend. We're going to have around about 20 million plus whatever we can uh, we can get from uh, you know moving players on. And uh, maybe using some players that we don't necessarily want or need as uh, as extra incentives. Maybe use them as part of a deal as opposed to doing two separate deals with shifting a player on and then using the money made from that to, to, uh, to buy in some replacements. But we are looking to strengthen across the board. I need a new goalkeeper because Abiati is retiring at the end of the season. We also have two other old goalkeepers that I don't want to keep. And a very young goalkeeper who's 20 years old but he's only rated 68 and isn't really at the stage to be able to jump into the first team and, uh, you know, hold down that first team spot just yet. So we're looking for players across the board in goal, at centre-back, at wing-backs, in midfield, out wide and up top. So uh, we've got a lot of transfer business to do. Please just fill the comments section with uh, suggestions for uh, for the transfer uh, for the transfer window. Going to be trying to record this uh, first week or so or so of this series one day at a time. So uh, you know I keep up to date with the uh, the options that you guys give me in the comments. And of course, considering the uh, 
circumstances around creating a new career mode series. I don't really have that much time to bulk record right now. So, of course, as always in the opening transfer window and any transfer window, we will only have a maximum of two games per episode. So they may be a little bit shorter for uh, for the foreseeable future in the first week or so. But once we get out of that transfer window, we'll be up to three games an episode, up to the long videos that I know you guys really, really enjoy. And hopefully this series can go down with a bang. So feel free to leave the video a like if you did enjoy. That would be absolutely superb. Like I say, fill the comment section with suggestions for players to bring in because we've got a lot of work to do to build this squad to make it competitive it's not going to be a one series job or one season job rather we're going to have to build for the long term at this club and hopefully we can get the Rossoneri back where they deserve to be at the top of Italy and at the top of European football as well but like I say that's going to bring this one to a close guys thank you very much for watching if you aren't subscribed to the channel and you would like to do so, then feel free to hit that subscribe button. There's a link in the description and an annotation on screen. To do just that as well, we're coming up on 6.6 thousand subs, which is absolutely superb. So hopefully we can break that soon and push on towards that 7k mark. But that's going to round out this first episode, guys. Thank you very much for watching. Again, I do apologise for the, uh, the lack of the Atletico... Uh, Madrid career mode and the uh, the scenario in which that has uh, unfortunately had to uh, to come to a conclusion but fingers crossed we can go from strength to strength with AC Milan and this will be a successful series for uh, for me for you and hopefully everyone will enjoy it so again thank you very much for watching and I will see you next time